hi. Welcome to Healthy Movers at Home. My name's Flo. What's your name? Oh, well, I see we've got some from Nance Dallin Preschool in today. Oh, oh, we've got lots of friends. Oh, well, give me a wave if you're ready to be a healthy mover today. Wow, I'm so excited that we're going to have some fun playing in our homes and in our settings today. And the thing we're going to be looking at today is we're going to be working on balance. Now, balance is so important um, as a skill to learn because when we can balance, we can stand on one foot and do our shoes up without falling over. <sighs> do you know what else we can do? We can also put our wellies on without always having to get somebody to help us. And something that I love to do is I love to run around. I love running, but sometimes you need to stop suddenly because there might be a road or there might be a big puddle and you don't want to fall in. So balance is really important so we can get our control there too. Who wants to come and play with me today? Yes, me too. What we've got to do first though is we've got to make sure our bodies are ready for activity. So we're gonna do some wiggles and jiggles. So we're gonna start by wiggling our feet and jiggling our knees and wiggling our bodies all the way up to our elbows. Don't forget your fingers and your nose. Oh, that's funny. Should we go again? Should we start from the top? Your nose, your fingers, jiggle your whole body all the way down to those toes. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Well, my body's ready. Is yours? Great. Come on then. So I'm wanting to do an activity, but I need somebody to help me. And I might have a lovely bean bag that can help me. I might not though, and if I don't have a bean bag, that's okay, because I've got Piglet, and I'm gonna choose Piglet to help me today. If you haven't got a little soft toy to help, you might even just have a pair of socks, because you can do this activity just with a pair of socks too. That is quite funny. So we're gonna start off, and we're gonna be sitting down, and you're going to see if you can balance your little friend on your head. On your head. So pop him on there carefully. Oh, can you move from side to side? Oh, flow. That's okay. Then I can just go again. Can you move from side to side? Forward, backward, forward. Ooh, wow, oh, flow. Go again. See what other ways you can move with your beanbag on your head. I can go side, or I can go to the other side. Ooh, forward. I'm going to see if I can go in a big circle. Now that is super tricky. Wow, well done. Where else can we balance our beanbag or our little friend? I think Piglet's gonna land on my shoulder. I can balance Piglet on my shoulder. Oh, can you? Can you balance him on your other shoulder? Wow. I sometimes like to put Piglet on my knees and I like to roll him all the way down to my toes. So Piglet is gonna go on my knees and roll him all the way down to my toes. <sighs> Can you do that? Have another go. On your knees, roll him all the way down to your toes. Piglet can also go on my foot. I saw somebody there, I think it was Nance Dallum, um, nurse in primary school, preschool that said they could balance theirs on their foot. Wow, I'm gonna have a go at balancing on my foot and I'm gonna lift up and down, up, 
and down. I might be able to go side. How wide can you go? <gasps> to side. Ooh. There might be some older children that might have a go at putting something on both of their feet. So they might be able to do up and down, side to side. I'm not very good at with both feet, so I'm just going to stick with the one. But some people might like to do two. Can you do this? Can you go up, down, side, side, all the way around? Have a go. Up, down, side to side, and all the way around. <sighs> now that we've done that leg, I think we need to work the other leg. Should we have a little go? So, put them on your foot and have a go. See if you can go, first of all, up and down, up and down. Remember if he falls off, that doesn't matter because you can just pop him on again. So, up and down, side to side and all the way around. Piglet, you are amazing. How are you getting on? Is your friend amazing too? I bet they are. Should we go again? Up and down, side to side, and all the way around. Oh, Piglet, that was funny. I'm now going to see if I can put Piglet on my tummy. And when he's on my tummy, I'm going to see if I can lift up. <gasps> all the way up so I'm just on my hands and my feet and I'm gonna move around and take Piglet for a little walk. Whoa that's quite tricky. Watch you don't drop him. Keep him high. Ooh, up you go Piglet. Whoa. Well done. Do you know what I sometimes like to do? I sometimes say so when I go to the bathroom to brush my teeth, sometimes I just walk and that's fine. But sometimes I like to do things a bit differently. So sometimes when I go to brush my teeth, I actually put my little friend on my tummy and we go along like this. And Piglet comes with me as well to the bathroom. That's quite funny because sometimes it's nice to travel in a different way, isn't it? Oh, you can also go side. Oh, 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 can you do that? Well done. You guys are doing so well. Oh, I do like travelling side to side. Can you maybe have a go at putting your hands and your knees on the floor? And can your friend balance on your back? Now, this is another nice way to take your friend for a walk. And again, you can go to your bathroom to do your tea. You can have a little move around your front room or your bedroom. You might even be able to go underneath things or climb over the top of things if there are obstacles in the way. Wow. Oh, and Piglet sometimes falls over and that's fine. How about this? I don't know if we're up to it, but I really think we might be. I think you guys can. So can you put your little friend on your head? But now you've got to try to stand up with him on your head. Come on Flo, you can do it. Flo, can she? Yes, I managed to. Did you manage to? I think some of you do, I can see. But if it falls off, it doesn't matter. You can just pick him up and put him back on again. I'm going to have a go now at going back down. So I'm going to go down, all the way down, and I go all the way up. Come on, Flo. All the way up and around in a circle. <gasps> Flo, you can keep practising that. Any time you can practise that one, can't you? Well, now I'm going to have a go at doing another activity, but I'm going to need a helper for this activity. Piglet's going to play with me, but I need another helper. You might have somebody around in your setting or at your home that can help you, but my special helper today is going to be my friend Dumpling. 
Now this is Dumplin and he likes to come and play with me sometimes when I haven't got anyone else around to play with. And Dumplin is going to sit there and he's going to be my helper for the day. So this is what I'm going to do now. I am going to see if I can pick up my friend with my feet and I'm going to see if I can pass him to Dumplin. You might have a helper, you might not have Dumplin and that's fine and then Dumplin is going to try and pass it back to me. Yes Dumplin, well done. You might have another friend you can pass it to or pass it to somebody else and bring it all the way back, back to Dumplin. That's a funny way to pass, isn't it? Passing to your friends. You might even be able to pass in a circle all the way around a big group. That would be good fun. Wow, that is a fun way to pass the bean bag or your friend. You might even be able to pick it up with your elbows. Can you do that? Pick it up with your elbows and then pass it to somebody else. Well done, Dumplin. And then Dumplin might bring it back to me and I might pass it on. What other ways can you pass the bean bag or pass your friend? Oh, that's a good way, under your chin. Oh, that's tricky, you might want to have a go at that. Or under your, oh yes, well done. Lots of great ideas coming up there, wow. Well, something else I quite like to do when I've been playing quite a bit is I think sometimes it's nice to have a tidy up time activity. So when I've been doing my activities, my room sometimes gets really, really messy. And I sometimes have things all over the place. It might be some socks or some scarves that I've been playing with or some little balls that I've been playing with. And I quite like to do my tidy up, making it a little bit more fun. You might like to have a go at this as well. So you might like to have a go at picking up your different things, the different items with your feet and popping them in your box to tidy up. A scarf in the box to tidy up. You might have to move over the room to get different things and tidy up. You might even have somebody who can count and see how long it takes you. Now that's always a fun game. It's actually one of my favorites. And then when everything's tidied up, it can all be put away for another day to play. Well, I think we've had so much fun there today and I'm so pleased that you all came to visit me. And don't forget that when you're moving around the house, you can still work on your balance. You can work with any friends that you've got. You can work doing lots of different things with your toys that you've got around your house. Wow, thank you so much for playing today. I think it's time to give all of our helpers all of our friends a high five if they've helped you out today. Now I know that Piglet's helped me out. High five Piglet, well done Piglet. Piglet's going to go back on the shelf ready for another day. And Dumplin, Dumplin was a great help today. High five Dumplin, well done Dumplin. Thanks for coming to play. I'm going to give you a high five because you did so well. One, two, three, high five. He's got high five for Flo. One, two, three, high five. Yes, well done. And you can also give yourself a high five because you did so, so well. Before we really go though, we're gonna do another little wiggle and jiggle just to finish off. So we're gonna wiggle our toes, wiggle our knees, wiggle our bodies, all the way up to our elbows and our shoulders and our fingers. And we're going to wiggle our nose. And we're going to go back down. Wiggle our nose. Wiggle our arms. Wiggle our legs. Wiggle our feet. And as we wiggle our fans, we're going to give a big wave. And I'm hoping that we can come and play again soon. Bye. <laughs>